One. What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here. I'm here with my boy Slim, and we're at the Team YCS Las Vegas, and we're with Top 16 Duelists. What's your guys' name, and what did you specifically play? Um, Park, I'm from Georgia. Uh, I was the only curly player in Top Cut. Oh God, uh, yes. Representing my cats, you know. Shout out to Simba, RIP. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was I play cats. For the cats, and then you guys got your teammates right here. Matt, insane players. Insane. I'm so glad they were on my team. Like, shout out to them. Heck when yeah. When we lost, we carried each other. Yeah. We were, we were team, like, whole teamwork, team. baby. Let's teamwork. Team. That's how you do it, baby. It, baby. Heck yeah. We get or lose together. That's what's up. But the cats got you this far, oh, yeah, so we got to see this spice, man. But before we get in there, you want to do any shout outs before that? Get oh, it all over sure. with? Shout out to my teammates, of course. Of course, you know, the shout outs. Hey, you already know. Shout out to my girlfriend. She's very supportive. Um, I mean, I can't thank enough because. It's hard to find a girl these days that, that support our hobbies the way she does. And she cares for me and everything. My family, uh, Pac, uh, you know, Aditya, all, all of them. Adam, Alex, all my boys back at home. Uh, yeah. That's what's up. All right, man. Let's get into this top 16 only pearly in the fire format, tier zero format. Let's see the goo, baby. Last cat, three Simba, always hitting. My cat's literally in the spirit, just just literally hitting every single pearly card. And you never miss. Never miss. Never. Not miss. once this weekend. 100. percent Wow. 100. <laughs> percent That's actually Even crazy. The spell is 100. percent Let's. That's crazy. Uh, three black cat. You know. Uh, it's alright. Uh, <laughs> he uh, likes the he likes the sackiness. Yeah, more. <laughs> One delicious, three happy, three pretty, three my friend, um, and these are just supplementary engine. So the logic behind the deck right now is this is 22 um, total engine, but these are four supplementary engine. So the math is there's 18 engine, 18 non engine. Yeah. Um, and the map of you drawing a supplementary engine and non-engine, two to three engine and non-engine, is 94.6%. Like, so it's nice. extremely, like, it's decently consistent. And if you have five hand traps, because you have 18 hand traps, the variance of you drawing like three Ash, like one Baylor and like one Emperor, or, like, you will always have multiple hand traps. Yeah. So if you're not playing, they're not playing. And you've got both on top deck mode anyway. So mm -hmm. that was a logic. And uh, yeah, this was the um, all engine. So 18 engine, four supplementary engine. And yeah, these got us there. So is that only two sleepy? Was that what I saw? Yeah. Oh, sleepy. really? Was there a reason name beside that? Um, you know, the other thing's called balance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to troll a little I, bit. I, I'm convinced that You're... they throw a dart. There's there's a dart board. And they throw a dart. And I was like, oh, sleepy the two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I just was like, man, they're hitting the cat one, deck more zero, than every like, other deck. It's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> they just literally throw a dart board. Like I'm telling you, scarecrow to zero, like bro, out of nowhere. Like. Yeah. They hit that deck before the week. They could have a two moment. Weeks. Yeah. yeah. Playable two weeks. Uh, three F. <laughs> Three Bell, uh, three Baylor, three Droll, three Neb, uh, three Imperm, and last card was uh, 41 Tactics. Reason behind Tactics, 41 and 40 have 0.05% in a difference in math. It really doesn't change the math that much. But I was trying to fit this card in side deck, but side deck is so tight for going first and, uh, and trying to break uh, going second boards. Mm. Um, so Tactics in the main deck, one of, was totally fine. It didn't hurt the math that much. And every single time I saw it, it was okay. I mostly like drew two. Yeah, you drew two. But I never really, like. I mean, these cards, this card was insane. So the video was crazy. I wanted to see every single draw of like two or four draws off of Sleepy. I wanted to see Neb Neb every single time because if I saw my Noir and D guys, they, if they take it, they can't make suits. They can't do nothing. Yeah. Um, and I always use my Noir like preemptively, so they can't play. And if yeah. they set one or two. I feel spell up, I have all my follow ups up, I drew four or two, and I have a in hand. Mm. So they have to play through two Noir bounds, four draws, unknown. Yeah. And I have a follow up in hand always, like they get rid of my Noir. That's so actually... I felt very confident of just going first, unless yeah. I get like imperm on like double imperm or like variants. Yeah. It hurt. But other than that, I have four hand traps, so I'm chilling. That's true. How was Droll for you? Uh, Droll was okay. It shut down a lot of greedy players. Mm. So. I mean, it is correct for you to add Ash off of Bomb Fires, and sometimes they would pass if they don't have any extenders, but yeah. Droll is pretty good. Against Voices Voice, it's just turn skip. Oh, um, yeah. Bell. Bell, though, yeah. Well, that was the next I don't think I don't think it was, like, all of that, but at the same time, I respected Brendan, Voices Voice, um, just everything, every interaction. So, like, Nib Bell cooks every day. Yeah. Like, especially, like, Fire, Fire King deck. 
then Bell just cooks. Yeah. Like, there's no way to play around that. Like if you're if you're if you're trying to make four bodies and going to Appaloosa, I would nip. You take trigger um play merch, you take Bell. Yeah. And you just scoop. They That's just, actually just insane. insane. Yeah. And then you have a nip token, you have level one anima, you always take it. You just, or you can just swing into it, make with the uh, like high defense, you just swing into yeah. it with happy and make make uh, hard make noir plus like feel spell and trap and everything so you can draw two four. So I was just comboing off with Nib. Nib was insane. This Nib was insane. And Bell was also pretty good. Against Team Satoli, uh, last, I think it was ninth round, uh, I belled a Safira game three. He passed. Oh, dang. And, I, and we were on top deck mode, but like Bell just hits so many cars right now. So it's just, I mean, it's really good. Thank you. It's your extra coverage for whatever everything else didn't hit. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. 41 total in the main now. Oh, Bell in the main deck? Oh, no, Tactics in the main deck? It was for the cross out target. The cross out target. Oh, they have it in the list somewhere so we could actually like have good side deck patterns and be able to still cross out tactics. Right. Mm, that's true. And uh, nice. for the extra deck, one yes, type on. I, for apparently it's necessary because you have one under one under body and if they overextend with uh, extra deck, this card just turns into a, a, a beat stick or it just simplifies game set a lot better. Um, a lot of Pure Snake, I ended up Boral Lord and uh, Baron. Yeah. It's good against that as well. Mm. Uh, and you sometimes have Delicious or Happy for uh, to protect and, and, and save um, Typhon. So they can't nib you. They yeah. can't ac activate or use a Flame Bird's effect. And if you protect this, sometimes with Happy or Delicious, you're always in a better position as well. Sure. Um, Double Zeus. I respect the cash uh, and a lot of or clear, except for you know Fire King and all that, but also ending on this with Fire King Island up. Fire King Island's always trigger uh, chilling one mandatory. Yeah. So whatever, even if they have Flame Burge on the field, I, I if they trigger, they lose because yeah. they go uh, Fire King Island one, Flame Burge two. Someone two, but it two. Never gets anything done. And then maybe like get pop on the field, but like that's literally it. <laughs> they better have it. Yeah. Um, and double Noir, insane card. Honestly, the best Diamond Noir right now is like. Like, draw four is like insane. I bet like, nobody activated Herald of the Abyss yeah, on you. No, I always watch Thrust. Like, holy man. I, I don't I think anyone ever played yeah. that card. So, one downer for, of course, Zeus purposes. And uh, one Noir, two Beauty, two Happy, one Plum, one Nightingale. Uh, I never made this, but honestly, you need it sometimes to make Zeus. And SP and Anima. Enema was for Nip Token, obviously, and sometimes yeah. um, you have a really mediocre board where you're like, you're almost like Yellow Cat, but your only access to um, the late XYZ is like um, Happy Memory or something, and, and sometimes that plays the super quality, like to Brandon or like Voice. So, yeah. uh, for Summon, I would just go Enema, so I would end on Dark Game Light, and then I would just play around super quality, play around Nib, and just have security over all the cards that are um, that my, my, my opponents were on. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that Noir, that's a scary card I'm looking at right now. I haven't seen Noir, it for a while, but... Noir, yeah. Noir's really good right now. Yeah, I like it. Um, for the going first card, uh, a lot of OCG players are on this, and I theoried that uh, Ogre, Joel, Baylor is pre predominant in the format every deck main deck. Going first, um, this deck really doesn't lose anything. If you have Field Spell, you can't get Warner, Baylor, or Imperm. Yeah. Uh, only thing you're worried about is like maybe... like. In turn without field spell and ash, if you have this, and this prevents like older Baylor and Troll. Yeah, because it turns this card is too insane to not play because it's just whenever you want to send it off, you can always send it off with pretty memory, or you can always and also also the X X Y Z materials for Noir. All the black cat and all the uh, all the cats under the Noir will always go to graveyard because they're X Y Z materials. So oh. you're not really losing anything playing this card, or maybe losing like one Noir, but you always cycle it back. So like you're always advantage. And so deep dish, you're going first. Uh, cross out. Uh, there's, in hindsight, maybe I could have main decked this to play around tactics, play around all that stuff, but I mean, it is what it is. I think this card going first is always mandatory. Tactics and cross out was, when I watched the games, it was FTK against everybody. I bet it was. Um, a lot of people didn't respect this card, so I played it. Against Voices Voice, Cash, Flu, this card was nuts. Nice. Unless they see anti-spell, which I had prepared for, which is Cosmic. Cosmic's good against a lot of like flu back row, back row and all the anti spell and sub on the minute and stuff, but and, like Dark Roller was insane. Yeah. Because this card, this, because this deck requires an advantage, Dark Roller was just always insane. Yeah, they don't take damage, but you make Noir. Noir and they, and they can't like, play. Like, they <laughs> the can't next play turn. anyway. I draw two every turn, like yeah. you better have it. 
and then the logic behind this, which I never got to really like activate or draw because I never got into time. I always either 2 OM where like I get blown out because it, you know if they have it, they have it. Yeah, they have all the. The format's like or we're just done like first. yeah, if, you, if, yeah. We're, if you're done first, yeah. yeah. But yeah. literally, literally, this car logic is if you're on there, if you're on um, on uh, like Fisher, Baylor, and Joel, your own cars are also dead. But Joel, I keep it in because. If I don't see this car, Droll is the best next card against a lot of decks right now. Yeah. So I would keep those. We'll shout out like one, like uh, Baylor's, because I cross out these going first. So like shout out like uh, two, uh, two uh, Baylor, Imperm, and like Bells or something. And then I would just side this in. Yeah. So I would sit on five minutes, six minutes Noir, draw every turn. But then if I draw into this, you better out Fisher, Noir, and you better out Spooky Dog. Spooky. And, and because it's a discard effect, it's always safe from this, Under and you're insane. And also, the reason why this card is good, because when you activate Ash, the reason why Ash is so bad this one, is because it gives heat align for a lot of the decks. Mm -hmm. But when you have this, you have Ash, you're, you're <laughs> always chilling. And your Black Cats, you're always chilling from Dark as well, because you have Trapping Graveyard most of the time turn zero, and you would always chain Trap um, for Black Cats to just spin back if they're targeted with Dark. And they were short on bodies all the time, even the good players. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's about it, I think. Heck yeah. That felt really, really good. Um, yeah, I have no regrets of playing this deck. Perfect. One last time, maybe. See, the only pearly in top 16. A lot of good players went into that list. Uh, really a lot of good day, players. A lot of good players. A lot of good players. You guys no. did amazing. Congratulations again. Yes, sir. Thank you guys so much for the deck. Thank you guys.